You need to shower, ladies and gentlemen. I can smell you from all the way over here. Not that kind of shower. You need to shower more often, okay? I shower six to seven times a day. Six to seven times a day. I've only showered once today, but I'm sure I'm gonna shower many more times. Why? First of all, because I'm in Darwin, Australia. I need that, you know? Yet, I don't see people showering here as often. Why do I say shower and shower often? If you don't shower, your qualities will start to accumulate within yourself. Also, your environment will start to build on top of itself and you will become slower. You will become resistant to movement. So a shower is not only the fact that you shed the smell off of yourself, that's very needed, then, you know, once a day you can do that. I don't shower with so soap or shampoo every single day. That's not, that's not helpful, that will actually damage my body. Yet I shower with water virtually every single day, multiple times a day. Because I want to shed off of the memory, off of myself. You know, I'm sitting here on this couch right here in this, uh, on this little balcony. This, I'm taking on the memory of this environment. And then when I go and I decide to do something else, I want to be clean from that. Now, there is something to be said about the internal aspects and how you can clean your, your environment that way. Yet, it doesn't, it doesn't work as well as simply going and taking a shower. That just instantly drains it away. Now, why else should you take a shower? Okay, I'm talking about you now specifically. I'm not going to talk about myself. You should take showers more often because it'll cleanse the emotional stagnation from within yourself. Maybe you're going to talk to someone and the tone of the conversation is going to go low and you're going to think, oh man, I feel depressed or down or whatever else. If you just take a shower, that'll be cleansed from you. Or if you go to some place, let's say you go to a hospital or you go to a school or you go to a church or you go to virtually any other place that's significant in energy and you come back home, you don't want to be carrying that around and you are carrying the round, that around, okay? If you're not sensitive to perceive this, this is very tragic. So I'm here to share with you that you need to shower more. After you come back from those places, go take a shower. It'll, it'll cleanse your mind. It'll cleanse your state of mind. Now, uh, what else? You know, if you spend time around a physical person or if you're engaged in a romantic relationship with a person, after you've done that act, if, especially if you're not supposed to be together, that's a whole other story. Yet, shower, okay, shower. You, it'll cleanse the memory, the physical memory of, of the other person. What else? Um, you know, before meditation, if you have any kind of meditation practice, simply showering will make a huge difference. Again, as I said, because it cleanses your overall memory. Maybe I should have showered before recording this video because just me sitting here and recording these two or three videos that I've already made, it has a kind of impact on me. You know, the, the body takes on memory. And if I would have showered, the quality of this conversation would have been much better. Yet I probably will shower after these videos and then I'll record again and you will see the difference within me. Shower is not best. What's best is actually going and taking a dip in a river or a lake or a pond or a stream or a waterfall or an ocean or a sea. You know, that's the best way because you're submerging your entire body within those elements. Now, some people may think to themselves, okay, well, is he talking about elements? Does that mean that I can just go rub myself in sand or rub myself on earth or go take a fire bath? Does that work as well? Uh, yes, kind of, but not really. Water is best because water is most fluid and water can get in places that no other element can. So it literally, it will make the most contact with your body that any other element can. So shower, shower more often, shower regularly, shower frequently, shower before watching my videos and you will see your ability to perceive my message will become stronger, especially shower before bedtime, okay? Because if you're not showering before bedtime, you're going to be sleeping with the memory that you've accumulated in your day and it won't lead you to have peaceful and calm sleep. So if you shower before bedtime, that'll just take care of so many things and your ability to rest your ability to sleep will become that much greater. And definitely shower if you have something important to do. Like if I had something important to do in the, in the next few minutes, I would shower and then I would go do that thing. Your clarity of mind will become enhanced and your ability to do that thing will become greater. So what else? Shower, you know, before you eat food, shower after you eat food. Um, <laughs> Now, this may not be possible if you're living in a cold climate. I'm not living in a cold climate now. I'm living in Darwin, Australia. It's like 32 degrees Celsius. In fact, the previous video I recorded about short men. You should definitely watch it. 
the video cut out before I could finish my uh, video. You know, I had like one minute more to record, and yet it just cut out because uh, that the camera overheated, my phone overheated. That's not happening now. Yet I can feel my camera being hot. So if you're in a cold climate, that may not be so physically possible because uh, you're gonna strip the oil off your body and the cold climate will also suck the moisture out of you. So maybe showering that many times is not possible. Maybe like two times maximum you can shower. Uh, yet I don't, I don't advise you to live in a cold climate, okay? I advise you to somehow find a way to go live in a warm climate because human beings are naturally designed to live in a warm climate. If, you're, if you have spiritual inclinations, definitely you should work towards living in a warm tropical place. That is the ideal way to live. That's the way that your body is most adapt for and that is what's gonna ultimately help you to grow and to become a better individual.